Hello everyone, I'm Amy over here at Silver Dollar City for an old time Christmas in Branson, Missouri. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pick up a tasting passport for $32.50. With this passport, I'll get to try five smaller portioned items from the list on the back side of the passport, and there are quite a few items to choose from. So my first stop on my tasting pass is a Buckshot Skillet Cookery and I got the Jambalaya Skillet. And here it is. Looks like it has sausage, like tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, peppers, onions. I don't know, maybe, I think this is chicken. It smells, it has a very strong tomato smell. And on the bottom, it has some rice. Okay, the first bite, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like, just has a strong stewed tomato taste. And I can taste uh, the bell pepper in there. And the sausage is pretty good too, it's tender. It doesn't have a very strong flavor, which I like. It's good, it just has, um, it just tastes like tomato, like something, I don't know, like a tomato stew, sort of. For my second tasting pass item, I got the pot roast loaded fries at Lady Liberty. Okay, the pot roast has a gravy on it, and some green onion. I don't know what this is. Maybe sour cream. So the stuff in it looks like they put a lot more fries than pot roast. I'm gonna give this a try. So these fries taste pretty good. I actually really like it, but I'm not quite sure how I feel about the gravy on there. I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me. I do like that they put green onions on there, and that is sour cream. It all goes together pretty well though. I picked up my third item for my tasting pass from the Lumber Camp, and this is the cheeseburger chowder. This is the one item from the tasting pass that I really wanted to try, and I'm not even really sure why since I don't really like burgers too much, but this just sounded good. Okay, the first bite. It tastes absolutely nothing like a cheeseburger. It tastes just like cheddar soup. Now this tastes a lot like a runnier version of just nacho cheese. It doesn't taste anything like cheeseburger. I don't know why they call it that. Okay, I was questioning if this really was cheeseburger chowder and it really is, but it doesn't taste like it. It's just a cheese soup. I picked up my fourth tasting pass item and this is the cashew chicken cone from the Chicken and Waffle Cone Company. And I thought it was gonna be really small, but it's actually pretty big. I love cashew chicken. I make cashew chicken at home. And let's find out if this is better than the one I make at home. Okay, I'm gonna try this cashew chicken. First of all, it feels soft. It does not feel crispy at all. And I like crispy cashew chicken, but let's see what this tastes like. Okay, the cashew chicken is salty and it's not that great. It's salty and soft. We have another bite here with a cashew on it. The one I make at home is definitely a million times better. And I also don't really care for the cone too much. I would much rather have rice, but yeah, for the size, 
it's a good choice, but for the taste, um, it's not that great. Okay, I'm gonna break a piece of this cone off and try it. The cone is just a regular waffle cone. It is sweet, and so it really doesn't go with the cashew chicken at all. All right, I picked up my fifth and final item from the tasting pass, and this is the candied squash mac and cheese. So honestly, this doesn't sound very good to me, but I decided to try it anyway. So the acorn squash feels very mushy. For some reason, I just thought it might be crispy, but I guess not. The acorn squash tastes pretty good. It's mildly sweet. I thought it was gonna be a lot sweeter than it is, but it's not really that sweet. It kind of reminds me of just a sweet potato. Let's try the mac and cheese. Wow, the mac and cheese is so good. It's super cheesy. The noodles are just perfect. And it's really, it's really good. I love the, the cheese flavor, it's just delicious. So I think the, the acorn squash is really good on its own. And I think the macaroni and cheese is really good on its own. But together, like I wouldn't mix this dish up. I would just eat each one separately. Well, this is really good. I think this is probably my favorite item that I've had from the tasting pass. I think the second favorite would be the jambalaya. Definitely if you have a tasting pass, or even if you don't have a tasting pass, uh, job, this is a good choice. So to be fair, I did try the squash with the mac and cheese together. And y'all, they just don't blend well because then it takes away from the delicious cheese flavor. So I would definitely eat them separate. But it's a really good dish. And the size portion is not bad either. So if you all have a chance to go to Silver Dollar City and enjoy trying different foods, the Tasting Pass is a fun purchase. There are 23 different eateries to choose from and something for everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.